right, guys, welcome back to Weekend Smile. Mrs. Sheena Nagrani founded Life Revamped late last year with the goal of assisting people in need. Now, today she joins us to share her story behind starting this foundation and the impact it has made. Good morning to you, lady. Good morning. How are you? I'm blessed. How are you? I am blessed and highly favored. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so the foundation, I mean, most foundations are started out of a life experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, take us back as to, if you can, mm -hmm. really. And I mean, how far you get into it is really up to you. Mm -hmm. uh, what would have triggered or motivated you to want to establish a foundation of this nature? Well, how long we have? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, I didn't have a horrific childhood, but I had some personal struggles that um, was very close to home. Um, I witnessed my father being murdered at a young age as well as, you know, as a result of that, at the age of 14, I had to work after school, work on weekends to try and help mommy mm -hmm. to, you know, buy uniform, books, lunch money, because she, she became a single mom with three mm -hmm. kids, with the youngest, my brother, being two months old. A little after that, I got pregnant young when I was 19, just got into medical school. Um, I can't imagine for being a mother now, you know, being sacrificed so much, you know, your daughter coming and saying, boy, she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. So I was given an ultimatum and I took the latter, which now is the best decision I've ever made. Yeah. So I went out on my own um, and had to learn from a young age how to fight. Um, I started from nothing. I used to, you know, work in a supermarket. Then I went into a cambio from a cambio. Um, I went to Tinson Pen on an interview from Tinson Pen. I went to Air Jamaica to apply for a job, went to four interviews and after that, I realized I just kept on going up and up and up. Um, I've never not been in a position that was in a managerial mm -hmm. position. Mm -hmm. And even though I had to fight, I realized that I had favor. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, at, at the time, being young, I couldn't understand it. But being older now, I was like, my name was clearly called in a lot of rooms by God that I haven't been entered in. Mm -hmm. And I remember what it felt like to say, boy, I would have loved somebody just to give me a push. Yeah. You know, just a little help. I also remember the one and two persons that would help me, how good it felt to know that I had somebody in my corner. So going through all of that, um, I had a lot of things done. I sent myself to aviation school. I got my PPL. I'm also the So C you can fly? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I went through all of that. So after originally mid school, I dropped out of that with my daughter. And after working at Air Jamaica, I fell in love with aviation. Um, so I went through that. Then I um, became the CEO and the founder of my wellness company, Transcend. I have something complimentary for you, so remind oh, me. All right. Okay, um, carnival season. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I am the marketing director of a pharmaceutical company. Yeah. I um, got married to a beautiful soul, uh, my husband. And, you know, even though being able to do all of these things, mm -hmm. he's one of those traditional husbands where. Whatever you do is your thing, but I'm going to control the bills. You do you. So Sheena, hold on, because I think, <laughs> something. I, I think you are actually living the name of your foundation. I don't know if you realize, yeah. but you're living a life revamped. Yeah. Yeah. That's Perfect. incredible. I did a rebirth. Yeah. 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 So this mission now mm -hmm. with life revamped, having gone through all of these things, when you say you are helping persons in need, mm -hmm. um, what does that look like in terms of the need? Is it that they have to... They need financial help. Is it those persons? You know, like tell, tell me the kind of mission it's, that you're focusing on. It really isn't. It really isn't limited to a charitable cause. It's really anybody that needs help. It could be anybody that's sick, anybody that's going through poverty, anybody at all. Yeah. Um, I went through I, I, how I started it. I went through regardless of all my you know accomplishments. I went through a depressing stage where. Um, I didn't feel fulfilled and it was something that I prayed about that I find my purpose, you know, mm -hmm. being purposeful and I found it. I woke up one day, um, my husband came home and said every Christmas we try to donate to somebody that needs help, that's really in need. Um, I contacted the observer and found out a young lady that actually lived in a fall coop mm. and she was my first donation and after donating to her I realized that this is what I want to do. Yeah. So here comes my foundation, donating to one person going to the other. I said that you know I want to spend all my time yeah. doing just that. And the donations are financial, food, like anything, anything in terms of the need, whatever the anything, needs are? Anything that is needed. Yeah. I've helped persons right now, I'm sending a, um, a young man to school 
you know, I bought him uniform, laptop, um, I provide groceries. I adopted a 96-year-old um, visually impaired guy. So I do like weekly groceries, utilities, yeah. pay someone to help him. So it's really anything that's really needed. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. That's really, really amazing. Foundations, you know, because most of it is out of pocket oftentimes, um, the challenge is getting support mm -hmm. uh, from, you know, external uh, companies, etc., cetera, to, mm -hmm. to, to help your, your mission. Right. Do you have any challenges like that? Is it that you are okay, you know, from what you have, or would you no, want more help? No, definitely not. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of projects that are on a wider scale, like Jamaica Society for the Blind, the Daily Center. A lot of stuff that I do are out of pocket, mm -hmm. but I created a social media page where I have gotten a lot of sponsors so far. But um, I decided to register the company and do it officially that I can appeal to more corporate companies that would come on board to yeah. sponsor more on a, on a wider scale. And what do you do with Jamaica Society for the Blind? How do you help them? Well, I, currently I sponsor individual persons there. I have been doing a lot of work with the Vision Center. Um, I've been working with Connie Champagne from Optical Spark to provide stuff that they need, mm -hmm. samples. But I really want to help them overall. Yeah. Um, they don't have enough funding to pay teachers to teach persons that have just become blind. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the persons there weren't born blind. Mm -hmm. They need stuff like Braille's to help them to read. You know, the, 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 the surroundings on a whole need like a whole facelift. Yeah. So it's really a, a whole 180 that I want to work with them on. Wow. Yeah. The, the, the overall mission, because you just spoke a while ago about the scale of, of which you actually give help, mm -hmm. um, but the overall aim of Life Revamped is what for you? It's really just to help. Yeah. Um, when you speak of from medical um, vitals, there are what, heart rates, um, blood pressure and oxygen, but um, life vitals are hope spirits and pride and without hope and spirit there's no life so really that's what my foundation is predicated on is to provide hope and um, as cliche as it may sound and simple I get an unparalleled amount of joy to just help yeah. so it's really just to help because I know what that feels like yeah and um, I've met all of my persons that I've helped personally and it's not a situation where I just want to give out one donation and I say, bye, figure it mm -hmm. out. You know, I need to find a way to tap in to help these persons ongoing. Yeah. And this is a good platform that we have this discussion. If persons want to help you, having mm -hmm. heard this interview, how can they reach you? Well, you can um, contact our social media, which is at let's change underscore alive. Or our email is lifetransformers876 at gmail.com. Sheena, book coming up? You know what? I heard two times this week that I need to go on Simi Soul Session. Sim Soul Session, yes. And uh, I got an interview by Dahlia RGR, mm -hmm. and they said I need to do a seminar on how you to be human. You have to definitely do an interview on Sim Soul Session, but you also have to write a book because your story is incredible. Thank and you. And I must say congratulations on the work that you're doing. Thank you. And I think you're definitely doing purposeful, God-sent work. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. God said to say. God said to say. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sheena, the granny founder of Life Revamped. And with that, we're going to take a short break. Don't go anywhere. We have more to come right here on Weekend Smile.